Women living with HIV were not only victims of their partner's violence, they were victims of the violence of stigma and discrimination at the societal and structural level that affects many persons living with HIV. However, that they experienced particular forms of harm based on the intersection of these factors within the context of gender and male domination was clear. This compounded the domestic violence they faced in their intimate partner relationships in specific ways and increased their vulnerability to ongoing abuse. Some women explained that they often chose to put up with battering rather than face the upheaval of finding a new mate, having to disclose their HIV status and risk rejection again. Having people know about one's status was one of the major fears expressed by women living with HIV. Some perpetrators used the woman's HIV status as a psychological weapon with which to harm her, threatening disclosure or actually disclosing to friends and encouraging ridicule and fueling feelings of shame. Recommendations Health professionals providing services to women living with the HIV are uniquely placed to identify issues of domestic violence. This is because the woman does not have to fear that reporting abuse in this environment may lead to disclosure of HIV status, since this is already known. The importance of this cannot be overestimated, since threatening to disclose safe status is used as a weapon to control and intimidate women by some perpetrators of violence. HIV screening, counselling and treatment services should therefore routinely provide opportunities for women living with HIV to report domestic violence and should also ensure effective referral systems so they can access appropriate services. As Alan highlights, however, Greater collaboration between sectors should ensure that referral does not cause additional trauma and that confidentiality is upheld. 2011, page 54. Breaching confidentiality about domestic violence places women in considerable danger. And breaching confidentiality about HIV status compounds the problems women face in multiple ways. The biggest fear HIV positive women may face in telling someone about the violence they experience and the impact this has on managing HIV is the fear of how this information might be used. For some, this will echo the threat of disclosure their partner holds over them. The misuse of information in working with victims of domestic violence is so serious that we consider this a form of institutional abuse. These issues should be addressed through joint training, joint protocols and procedures and effective management. When breaches occur there is also need for effective penalties levied against those responsible. Staff working with persons living with HIV should be trained to identify the ways in which HIV can be both a consequence of sexual violence and also a contributing factor to physical violence and economic abuse, so that they can signpost women towards the right services. Anti-stigma HIV AIDS public education programs should address the ways in which stigma functions as a powerful silencer of victims and actually helps to hide the behaviours of perpetrators of domestic violence. This is an EU-funded project. project.